It's fall, and there are blessings all around, especially in the pumpkin patch. The title of today's story, Pumpkin Patch Blessings, written by Kim Washburn and illustrated by Jacqueline East. Ready to go. We don't want to be late. Just put on a sweater. The weather is great. God's creation is calling. Let's go find some treasure. Pumpkin patch blessings. Oh, what a pleasure. This time of year, the trees are so bold, exploding with colors, red, orange, and gold. The green leaves turn crispy and then start to fall. They crunch as you step and kick through them all. In summer and winter, there's nothing to match the sights and the sounds of a packed pumpkin patch. Under wide sky, around on the ground, are plenty of pumpkins, all fat, ripe, and round. Smell the fire up there, where the fields have grown tall. Let's roast ears of corn, it sure feels like fall. God's creation is calling. Let's go find more treasure. Pumpkin patch blessings. Oh, what a pleasure. Behind lumpy pumpkins, a bunny is hunching with a nose full of twitches and a mouth full of munching. The scarecrow is smiling while watching the show. The people, the sparrows, the squawking black crow. It's time for a ride, so sit down on some hay and get pulled in a wagon by a horse that calls, Nay! And when we stop riding, we'll go on our search for a peekaboo pumpkin we pick from its perch. Some pumpkins are bumpy, some slippery smooth, some big and some small. Which one would you choose? This one's so heavy, this one is light, this one is tilted, this one's just right. When we go home, there's one last surprise. With the pulp of our pumpkin, we can make pies. Harvest is here. We found so much treasure. Pumpkin patch blessings. Oh, what a pleasure. Thank you, children. I hope you enjoyed our story. And if you liked our story, please subscribe to our channel. Aunt Diana reads to us.